it's not going to be uploaded before 11 a.m. Eastern because it is 11 a.m. Eastern. I just got through feeding Bub and welcome to the big day. Full Scale Friday. And you know what Full Scale Friday is. That is a full reading done for the entire weekend. And if you would like one, if you would like one for yourself, how to get one is very simple. Go to the description down below, find my link tree, go ahead and click that, click on the Amazon link, go to, uh, that will take you to my wish list where you can send anything. Anything $35 and under will get you two free readings and a birthday reading. And as promised, if you purchase a, like one of those uh, role playing game books for me and have that sent to me, Normally they run about like 45, 50 bucks. If you're sending me 50 bucks in role-playing game books, I'm going to give you five readings in total. So four readings and a birthday reading. So it'll be about like 10 bucks a read. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you why I think that's a more than fair value. It's simply because brick and mortar stores, <clears throat> last I checked, and they may have raised prices since then, but I'm not interested in raising prices. What they do is they charge you $35. You get one reading, and it's tarot only. On top of that, you're not entirely certain about how, how good that person is. But that being aside... I bring out more because they give me a much sharper picture. And on top of that, I tend to do a lot better with focused one-on-ones than I do with general readings. And if you like my general readings, you're going to love the personal readings. Still, they are optional. If you would like one or you would like to give one as a gift or someone else, all those same rules apply. Simply go to my link down below. Go to my wish list, throw me something off the wish list, and, uh, you know, get in touch with me, and we'll, uh, we'll work something out. Just be sure to leave me your email address so I can get back to you. But finally, the weekend. And we're about to find out what that weekend holds for us. Oh, by the way, if you, if you choose not to get the, uh, private readings, just enjoy these, and, uh, if you really want to help the channel out, but you're just kind of strapped for cash, well, free ways to do it. Like the comment, share it with a friend who might need the message, and yeah, just sit back and enjoy, and you know, tell your friends about us. Just let's just keep it between you and about you know several millionaire friends. <laughs> but like I said, do I need a million people? No, I just need you. By the way, I've noticed a bit of an uptick in the turnout lately. What's going on with that? Well, what am I doing that uh, you're loving here so much? Because as far as I know, I haven't really changed up anything. And that's something you can also do. If you like something and you want to see it continue, comment down below. Tell me what I'm doing right. Very simple. That's a great way to help out the channel, and it's a completely free way of helping out the channel. And it doesn't matter where you're seeing it, whether you're seeing it on BitChute, CloudHub, Rumble, YouTube, or Odyssey, it's all acceptable. By the way, my fan club kind of peaked out. I'm sure some of you saw it. Yep, just when you think that uh, they've adopted a pro-life stance of, hey, life is really good, I should probably get one. <laughs> they, uh, they come back to sing about how terrible this is. And they don't want you to see it. They really don't. Thankfully, it's only like maybe, uh, I can count them on one hand against a group of people who are turning out to watch it and like, you know, double digits again in some areas. Alright, so today I do have Uncommon Tarot, Sacred Light Oracle, Viking Oracle, Spirit Animal Oracle, and we're going to cap it off with the runes of course because that's how we do it. That's the way we uh-huh uh-huh like it, Casey and the Sunshine Band. Yeah, I threw a disco reference in there, sue me. Alright, Oh, 
Well, don't worry if I got it wrong. I'm not a big fan of disco anyway. Here we go. And so this is what a full reading will look like. Sometimes they're just a little bigger. Sometimes I'll put a sixth deck in here because maybe the question warrants it. Also, I do these live over Telegram. So if you would not prefer a, vi a, pre a recorded video like this, we can do them live over Telegram. Tribe of the Greyhorn Pagans, that link is also in the description, in the link tree in the description down below. I am their Vidki, their shaman. And you are more than welcome to come into the tribe and interact with me and message me directly or just at me and we'll talk. We do a lot of joking and kidding around in there too. It's not all so serious. Come join us. Come hang out with us. You know what you're going to find in there? Let me tell you exactly what you're going to find. Good people. Thought-provoking and intelligent discussion. Sometimes the occasional troll or two. But for the most part, you're going to find good people and intelligent discussions. And I'm there. You can talk to me even if you're just curious if you're genuinely curious we'll talk to you we'll tell you all about it all right it's also a good way to find me and then you know boom here we go I can do a I can do a live reading in private for you and it's perfectly fine and I do it that way because telegram is encrypted so no one knows what's being said about this reading but you me and the and those guides guiding the cards that's it. And it stays that way. And at the end of it, I send you a picture of this thing with a, with a nice little um, summary, if you will. So if that sounds good, something to think about. It, that link is always going to be in the description, so you're fine. It's not going away anytime soon. All right. Let's see who you are this weekend. The Nine Worlds. Believe it or not, everything you do has an effect somewhere to a lesser or greater degree. If you choose not to act on something, then nothing gets done. Nothing for you. If you choose to act on something, it's important that you be careful how you act. Because once you once you commit certain actions, it's pretty much like, uh, I don't know if any of you are wrestling fans, but whether you're watching New Japan, Ring of Honor, AEW, or WWE, certain actions are a lot like a flying elbow drop. Once you jump, you're pretty much committed. Some things you can kind of uh, you can kind of go back to the well on, but you know, interesting how the well of weird is right at the right at the base of Yggdrasil in there. Sometimes you can go back to the well, but you have to remember the magic that you put into play has consequences for good or ill that you may have to deal with remember that today because today that matters everything is connected there's that old Q quote uh, where we go one we go all and that is you this weekend and that is super important to remember because you're being guided by none other than the will of weird your magic is very real You know, for those who got uh, private readings from me over the past couple days, or even even just the past couple weeks, your guide in that moment, 
who you are in that moment is always going to come back to these and these are very well linked together when you go back to that well when you go back to your magic when you you know initiate your power the question that you have to ask yourself is am I doing this responsibly there are things we do just because we can um, I drink tea because I can that and uh, me and coffee don't really get along anymore haven't really since I was about in my 20s mid 20s late 20s just uh, kind of has some pretty nasty effects on me effects I'd just rather not have uh, I have a cat for a pet here Mr. Bub many of you see him kind of like you see his tail anyway I have him over a dog because he's a pretty chill little uh, little guy. I can't imagine life without him. And I chose him because I could. But think about how that choice mattered in his life. Right now, he's crawling along my rug, sniffing it. He's trying to find a little spot where he is going to plop his big butt down. He's going to curl up and he's going to go to sleep. That's probably where he's going to be all day while I'm at work. Cats do things just because they can. But now, when you do things because you should, that's where your magic matters most. And I really want you to focus on that this weekend. That should be your focus this weekend because everything else here goes to support those two things. Let's have a look at your spirit animal. Grasshopper spirit. Anybody getting kung fu vibes very suddenly? And I'm talking about the old western with David Carradine. Do you not see the grasshopper at your f or do you hear the grasshopper at your feet? Said the old blind master to Kwai Chang Kane, whose eyes were closed. And when he opened them, he looked down and he saw that grasshopper. Taking a leap of faith is a lot like being that blind master. You have senses attuned to the world around you that no one else has. And when I say no one else has them, I mean no one else has attuned those senses as you have. You are very special in this in this particular occasion. So it's very important that you listen to your senses, you listen to your intuition. They are not going to lead you wrong. Sometimes you have to go in blind. It's the way of the world. Without great risk, there is no great reward. Nothing just comes to you, ladies and gentlemen. See, magic doesn't work that way. Magic, even with your subtle manipulations, the most subtle of uh, manipulations of, a super, of the supernatural force around you, you still have agency. You can't just think it and then it comes. You can't just rub a lamp and there's a genie and you make a wish. When all of your wishes are granted, many of your dreams will be destroyed came from a Marilyn Manson album, but it still rings true. Let's see what your, uh, see where your head is in the tarot here. Got a seven of cups in reverse. We've got, looks like an ace of coins in reverse, and we've got a tower. I can sum this row up very, very easily. You're looking and you're saying, it's too much. It's too much, I'm backing away. Thing is, that choice is not as difficult as you think. And by over 
by building a mountain out of, out of a molehill, you are missing off on those very real opportunities, and that leads to your tower moment. You know, I was talking with uh, <coughs> sorry, I was talking with the weaving spiders, and they talked about how um, the destruction of the Georgia Guidestones looks a lot like this tower. It was a tower guard moment. Do you notice that crown right there is falling? Oddly enough, I wanted to mention something. <coughs> there we go. Uh, had to dislodge that. Sorry. Anyway, I decided to listen to some old Metallica. And by old Metallica, I'm talking like load. So from like 1996, the year before I graduated high school. And here's what, here's what happened. I just kind of felt this overwhelming urge to go to that album and listen to the song King Nothing. And it all crashes down and you break your crown and you point your finger, but there's no one around. Just want one thing, just to play the king, but now the castle's crumbled and you're left with just a name. Where's your crown, King Nothing? Kind of, a, kind of an interesting course to go with uh, that mental mindset today. Let's talk about kings. What do kings do? Kings are diplomats. They're statesmen. A good king rules justly and fairly. And if you don't do that, you're a despot and a tyrant. And eventually, your own treachery will come back to haunt you. Conan became king by his own hand. King of Aquilonia. And oh, there were people that grumbled. He, lo he had the lowest taxes ever in Aquilonia's history. Oh, they grumbled. <coughs> then Conan was overthrown. He was believed dead. And then the people found themselves under a viciously oppressive rule. And they were told they would like it. Or else they would be killed. And those loyal to Conan Many of them were hunted down and killed or, you know, chased out in exile. But one day Conan came back. He came back for his throne in a big way. What's odd is that sounds a little familiar, doesn't it? If you look around. Yeah. Kind of sounds familiar, but what kind of a... Uh, if, you, if you just want to be king, the question is why? And what are you willing to do to get it? Because right now, this is the warning sign. The, path, the mental path you're on is not going to serve you. Not at all. But with the tower, the foundation is there. And what is that foundation? That's what you need to examine. See where you are physically this weekend. A page of cups in reverse. Eight of cups in reverse. Justice in reverse. You know, are you still letting your emotions control you? So that's what that's what this looks like. They're getting out of hand very quickly. Furthermore, you're not able to move on. You're stuck. And I think we know what the opposite of justice truly is. I've got some bad news, ladies and gentlemen. These are huge warning signs. Something's wrong here. And you need to take care of it. The good thing about these cards, 
these cards that are in reverse is you can flip them around. You've already looked at it. You've already seen what's coming. The good thing is, whenever you see the cliff, you know you can hit the brake, cut the wheel, and just kind of, even if you're sliding, you might only slide a few feet before you finally come to a full stop. Going over the cliff, that's when it's too late. You can't do anything then. You're going to have to deal with the crash on the rocks below. In your spirit, we have an Eight of Swords, a Two of Cups in Reverse, and a King of Cups. Spiritually speaking, things look a little bit better. Not by much, because this Eight of Swords right here is you believing your problems are bigger than they are. Look at that. Seven of Cups in Reverse. It's all linked, ladies and gentlemen. Right down the line, straight across, and we haven't even hit the uh, Sacred Light or the runes yet. <clears throat> but the choice may not be yours. And I think that's what's upsetting you. You kind of feel like, uh, yeah, I'm, I don't really have much choice. But sometimes you're just kind of knuckling under and getting it done. Right here in the spirit is where you most have control over your emotions. So this is where your focus needs to be to turn the rest of this around. You focus here. You see what's coming here. You go to your foundations. Your foundational principles are going to be everything. I'm telling you, there's a lot of warning in here. A lot of warning for this weekend. It started out very it started out really great. But I think this is this is where the real focus is. You have to understand that you're so connected in. Have you been misusing your magic is the question. Take that leap of faith, grasshopper. Remember, the blind master had total control over himself. Kwai Chang Kane, who was very young and had all, his, all of his faculties and abilities, couldn't seem to get it right. Because he couldn't calm and center himself. And I see a lot of disturbance and upset in this reading. So, let's have a look at the sacred light and see what's going on. Well, you got language of light. Rediscovery, Humble Wanderer, and Communication. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, if you're feeling some kind of way about some things, it's probably time to start talking to somebody about it. Whether it's, uh, <clears throat> I don't care if you have to talk to yourself. I don't care if you have to get alone for a little while and just sit there and talk to yourself. Bring like a little digital voice recorder, bring your phone and record it, write, get a little notebook, one of those composition books, buy a little, you know, compo cheap composition books of cheap pens, go out to the middle of nowhere, just sit down and write it all out. However you have to do it. If you have to talk to someone, make sure that you have someone that you trust and they'll listen and they'll keep it to themselves. That conversation needs to be be just between you and that someone else. That's it. I don't care if it's your priest. I don't care if it's your minister. I don't care if it's your shrink. I don't care if it's just a friend. Get this crap out of your head. Right here we have Antakarana. So it says, crossing the rainbow bridge, resurrection, and coming full circle. Don't you know that this is the cover of the Sacred Light Oracle cards? Crossing the rainbow bridge, that is the Bifrost. Who crosses that bridge? The dead. But this is resurrection. This is not you dying, this is resurrection. This is you coming back. This is your comeback story. As much as there is warning in these cards, there's also hope. In 
and finally you have angelic realms so this will be a team effort charity charity validation and patience not everything is going to be instant gratification ladies and gentlemen but when you do come back when you do make those changes when you do commit to them the results will be glorious but you have to start this weekend let's look at your runes so we can wrap this thing up finally <clears throat> we've got Kanaz Parthro boy isn't that uh <laughs> that's ap that's apropos and Wunyo didn't I tell you as much as there is warning in this reading there's also hope ladies and gentlemen the great thing about having a passenger in the passenger seat telling you cliff ahead you know jerk the wheel and hit the brake is that by the time you get that warning from that person you're you still have time and it might be a close call but at least you avoided going over the cliff it starts with right here in the mind enlightening yourself Kanaz is the torch. The torch carries the light. Lights your way through the darkest of caves, caverns, dungeons, and all kinds of other stuff. Parthro is the dice cup. And this is you taking that chance. Roll the dice. You've been here before. Trust your intuition. And finally... Unio, the raised flag of victory. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't mind telling you that right now inside this reading, what I see is you re-examining yourself. How have you misused your gifts or your talents or your abilities, and how can you make that right? Because making it right, as scared of it as you are, as much as you're afraid of taking those risks, is what it's going to take to get you back on track. This is a hard look in the mirror. When you realize what you've done and what you've done to yourself. It's hard, I understand. But this weekend is all about making that right. You have to acknowledge your own faults before you can acknowledge someone else's. It's true. It's very true. But at the end of everything, after you've fought, after you've kicked, after you've screamed, after you've come out of that pile of, you know, out of that pile of demogorgons led by Vecna, when their blood stains your blade, and you come out with your with your clothing and your armor half hanging off of you, ripped and shredded. And your hair and face are just caked in, you know, whatever gore or viscera you tore out of your enemy. The point is, you, you can get cleaned up. You can clean that blade up and sharpen it. But that, that opposition now knows what it came up against and it came up against the miracle known as you but none of this is going to happen until you take responsibility until you you know tighten your belt and until you commit yourself and say this is it it's you or me and it damn sure ain't going to be me It might be a hard-fought victory, but it will be a victory. Take your leap of faith, Grasshopper. I want to thank you so much for joining me. I want to thank you for staying to the end of every video. because you have my undying gratitude for being here. I love you all. This weekend, take care of yourselves and each other. Fight the battles worth fighting. Always do what lights you up. And as always, shine on.